Welcome to our lecture online. Here's an interesting graph that gives us some more insight into what happens when we're talking about quantum mechanical events with very small particles. Let's say that a small particle with a certain amount of energy is incident upon either a barrier or a potential step. And so the situation can be where the energy of the particle is greater than the potential step or the energy of the particle is less. In the regular world, in the macro world, any time the energy of the particle is greater than the potential of the barrier or the potential of the step, the particle will simply continue, perhaps with less energy, going slower, but we would expect 100% of the particles to continue past the step or past the barrier. And if the energy of the particle is less than the energy of the barrier, we would expect 100% of the particle to stop and get reflected back. Well, in the quantum world, that's not the case. As we can see, normally we would expect, and here let's talk about the graph a little bit so we can understand what we are dealing with here. On the vertical axis, we have the percentage or the fraction of the particles that are either reflected or transmitted past the boundary or past the barrier. And this would be the physical location of the boundary, which of course doesn't quite fit onto the graph, but to help us figure out how to present it. And then on the horizontal axis, we have the ratio of the energy of the particle to the ratio of the potential of the step or the barrier. So if that ratio is greater than one, we have a situation the way we have a drown here. So normally we would expect 100% of the particles to be transmitted. As we can see here, that's not going to be the case. If we're at less than one over here, then the, we would say that the particles would be reflected because there's less energy in the particle than you'd need to overcome the barrier or the step. But then since we haven't reached the barrier yet, then we don't have to worry about that. As we will see later, in cases where the energy is less than the potential of the barrier, some penetration will still exist. And if the barrier is thin enough, uh, then it could potentially present a tunneling situation where the particle will actually tunnel through the barrier, which of course we don't have represented here. However, notice the green line here, and hopefully you can see the green line because it's not very bright, but you can see that instead of having an immediate jump, as soon as the particle has more energy than the barrier, that 100% of the particles would penetrate or go across the barrier, and you would have something that looks like, more like a rectangular step function. But that's not what we're seeing. We see that there's a certain percent of them will, which will be reflected, and a certain percentage will be transmitted. As the ratio of energy of particle to the potential of the barrier, that ratio increases, you can see that a greater and greater percent of the particles will actually get transmitted to where we see that virtually 100% of the particles will be, will be transmitted by the time we get to a ratio of 2 to 1. At the same token, the amount of particles reflected will rapidly decrease, but it will not be a step function like we would expect that as soon as the the energy is greater, the energy of the particle is greater than the energy of the barrier, it's, you would expect all the particles to get past that barrier, but that's not the case. There'll be some reflection, and that reflection will drop off rather quickly. By the time we have a ratio of 2 to 1 with the energy of the particle to the energy of the step, then almost none of the particles will, will be reflected and virtually all of them will be transmitted. But you can see it's not like it's a step function like you would expect to see in the macro world. So this is actually a very nice representation. Also keep in mind, just like in electricity and magnetism with wave reflection, wave transmission, that the total reflected waves plus the total transmitted waves always have to equal to one. The total probability of the two combined is equal to one. And the same with the quantum mechanic effect on particles, that the number of particles reflected versus and the number of particles transmitted added together will add up to 100% of the particles incident on the barrier or the step, the potential step. So that gives you a good visualization of what actually happens at the boundary. It's not as clear cut. And we're, of course, we're going to be studying what these boundary regions look like and how the transmission and the reflection will actually take place, to what extent and how deep and how we'll drop off as it goes into the barrier. So stay tuned. We'll show you how to do that.